I feel like it's time for me right now to uh, film my first video in English. Here is my very dear friend Kelly. She's one of my favorite people at HBS, and now we are about to go for a ski trip in where was it? Vermont, Maine. It's going to be my first time skiing in the States. Last year I couldn't make it to this trip. Now we are going uh, together with Euro Club and Latin American Club, and there's like a lot of different languages spoken. Yeah, spoken on the bus. Okay, Kelly, what do you want to say? about the ski trip. Uh, we're very excited to ski and there also will be a lot of alcohol. <laughs> okay, now we are about to start our journey to Maine and stay tuned. See ya! We just started our skis and I already forgot how tired we are, right? It's like so pretty. It's beautiful. Cold but pretty but cold. <laughs> the fireplace over there. And now finally we are heading to this We are going to eat the most American dinner ever. <laughs> so we just came to the party after like a half an hour nap. We are like still sleeping. Uh, my goal to stay here is like 30 minutes. Kelly's goal is an hour. Maybe we'll we'll be less sleep later. I'm hopeless. <laughs> Finally, we are ready to ski. I woke up with a bad news today. I apparently forgot to pack my goggles and I had to buy a new one and the cheapest one was $85. But yeah, it is what it is. And I hope that today goes well. It is almost 4 p.m. today. I'm probably skiing for the last time for today. We have time until 2 p.m. tomorrow until our bus leaves for Boston. We are taking the early bus because the later bus is at 5 p.m. It's like four and a half hour drive. It's going to be like too late. So we decided to leave early but we can change our minds at like any point soon because it's like really pretty and snow is not icy it was like a really pleasant ski experience today i can say that i definitely miss, miss skiing a lot and uh, the weather is much better than what we expected actually it's like a little bit warmer compared to what we are used to in boston it's like two celsius right now and um since we are very well preferred uh, with like caramel ties. We actually over preferred. We got rid of some of the hats and yeah it's been like a pretty fun day and now we are heading to one of the Apresky uh, cafes which are down the road. <laughs> Now we came to another hotel for our final dinner here and there is Masato, my hey. good friend from Japan is here oh. and I have a question for Masato. So people are raving a lot about the ski resorts and ski trails in Japan. Yeah. When you compare them uh, to the ones in the States, uh, how, how do you uh, make that comparison? I think in Japan there are some really really good uh, ski resorts and also very known for like people all over the world. Like uh, my friends in the US came to um, Hokkaido, which is northern part of Japan, only to ski for like a, a week. Whoa. So um, possibly it's very popular, but there's uh, as you said like a lot of difference in the ski with the ski resort in, in the US. For example, like uh, one that the size or the length of the slope. Mm -hmm. is much shorter in, in Japan 
like because of really? that, the height of the mountain is like lower. So I really enjoy like skiing long time in the US from uh -huh. the top to the bottom. It's yeah. like yeah, more like, like flat. Yeah, more yeah. than like I can ski like more than 20 minutes from the top to yeah. the bottom, right? So that's really like that's the thing I like about the ski resort in the US. Uh -huh. But uh, the good thing about Japanese ski resort is um, the quality of snow is really good in Japan. So Japan is known for like it's very good um, powder snow. Which oh. is very soft, like and very fluffy. The icy? No, yeah. So in so. the US, like there are so many like icy ice bunkers, yeah. which is like sometimes like difficult to you know manage your ski. Yeah. But I just find more fluffy and very soft. So I really enjoy this kind of like uh, texture of snow. Yeah. So I mean, that's a good good part of Japan. But uh, yeah, I mean I like both. Um, the last thing, the last and not least, in, if you go to <laughs> ski resort in Japan, yeah. it's uh, the food is amazing, like sushi or like everything. Japanese yeah. So and also like I can eat ramen, Japanese soup noodle in the middle of the mountain. So I yeah I oftentimes miss these like Japanese people. Can my followers reach out to you yeah. if they want to go to Japan? Please, please. Okay. I can send... Reach out to Masato. If yeah. he doesn't reply, let me know. I can send you recommendation list okay. anytime. Say goodbye to my folks. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, greetings from HBS Euro Latam Ski Trip Day 2. Actually, I feel myself more confident when I'm skiing today because I didn't ski in the last two years. I just didn't have the chance and apparently didn't push hard enough to make my own chance. And I just started trying more challenging trails today. And I just remembered how good it feels to push yourself out of your comfort zone, try new things. And I just remembered like, Many years ago, when I first started skiing, my mom told me, like, I'm so afraid, like, what if you fall? And then I just told her, what if I don't, mom? What if I don't fall, right? So it's such a great feeling to ski when you speed up that, like, adrenaline, endorphin, like, all those good hormones make me really happy. I am not a pro and I just want to say each and every of you that you do not need to be a pro actually in everything you do because if you feel like a pro in everything it means that you are not trying new things and you would never know actually what's out there that you might really enjoy. So I just recommend you to keep that in mind as well as adopt what if i don't as like a life motto actually i apply that rule in a lot of areas of my life when i decide to try something new and when people say that like what if you fail and i just turn to them and say that what if i don't life is much more fun this way and i hope you liked my video i'll see you in the next video bye bye